hello guys i have gotten iphone 7 today which uh, the rear camera is not working um, i have been told that this phone was uh, badly liquid damage and um, after ultrasonic clean it did turn on but the um, rear camera is not working they have of course uh, replaced the cameras and checked with a known good camera but still front camera is working but rear camera no image so this is the phone here as you can see okay and this you can see black and front camera is working as you can see and but when you go to the rear camera it's not working <coughs> so what we will do uh, I'm not gonna disconnect the battery reason behind is I would like to check both line on the rear camera FPC connector so that's there so I will disconnect the rear camera connector as well okay <coughs> now we will check so there are um, now in this condition there are two ways to check either you check in um, uh, diode mode reading or <coughs> check the power lines with the multimeter mm. so what I'm gonna do okay oh not here okay I will bring the multimeter on the screen yep it's there you can see it and As you can see the um, it's well cleaned here but little bit too mark I can see on these two connectors this is rear camera FPC connector so what I'm gonna do now is to check uh, because the phone is on so the next thing I would like to do is to open using G so that I can see okay I will just bring you here here and we'll go to iphone 7 in new zealand it's qualcomm okay mm, our phone orientation is like that so we will come here so j4501 so first of all this is uh pp 2.8 volt line so come back here where are we okay i think multimeter stopped working so i will bring it on again So this multimeter if it's ideal for more than yep it's on now so we will come back here okay so let's check this one which is as you can see zero volt here 
okay this is 1.8 line which is all good as you can see this is 1.8 close to 1.8 and this is again as if we bring it down here oh come on man don't have enough time for that so okay this is 1.8 line as you can see so we got 1.8 here and this is pp 2.2.9 and which one is it the same one power is coming from here 2.8 2.9 the both so this is 2.9 and uh, the fourth one is fourth one is one two three four as you can see we have got three volt here so the lines which we power lines which we are missing is this one here which is uh, two point how much is it so let's let me check again so this is three volt line we have got but we do not have 2.9 1 2 3 okay so now we know that uh, uh, what we are missing is first of all we are missing uh, PP 2.8 and uh, we have got 1.8 on PP 1.8 UT connection but we do not have PP 2.9 line so the next thing if we come down here so let's check this is the line which is missing let's dig out where this is going to search so yep okay so this is j4501 it's coming to j4501 and then and then we have got c53 c2531 and c2507 which is on the same line so the next thing we would like to do is to check c2531 if they are not shorted okay let's come back here so c2531 C2531 just checking just in case maybe our life is makes bit easier so this is on the other side so we will remove the board and then check um, this cap is stuff okay now check uh, the cap which is C2531 C two five three one, which is can you see? Yeah, C two five three one, which is this guy here. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is ground which is all good and this is on the line here so that means that means life is difficult because that uh, I was expecting but as you can see uh, this has not been cleaned properly because you still see uh, we have been told it's liquid damage which we can see clearly as you can see see I don't think it need another ultrasonic clean so now the next thing is let's come back here so this is the cap which we have tested which is 2.9 2.8 line so let's check so now by looking at it we can tell that this is connected to u2501 what is u2501 okay let's check u2501 u2501 
where are you mister u2501 uttah power uttah power is okay so u2501 uttah power is the rear camera ldo let's see where this is located and what we can do about it okay this is located here and as you can see this is a little bit not in a good condition we are will remove okay so we know this is connected directly here let's get a more precise user so that I can remove this thing let's go more closer so we can tell see this this is where the most um, maybe the liquid went into liquid has got conductivity and once is there and the power is on it will burn the component that's why we always tell our customers once your macbook phone got liquid damage don't try turning it on don't try charging it hot cupboard and rice remedy is made they honestly don't work on electronics it needs a um, proper cleaning and repair so the conclusion is we have to remove u2501 and i will see if i have got um, another u2501 in stock otherwise i will remove it from another phone and we will check how it goes because yeah let's remove u2501 from this phone first so just uh, here is nan flash nan flash is little bit oh sorry not nan flash actually wi-fi and bluetooth ic so as i always say Uh, precaution is better than cure so I have covered it with heat resist tape so this is where I will just mark here this is where okay the orientation dot is so hopefully replacing this u2501 should sort our problem but uh, electronics is like uh, you will never know what next fault you can find once you replace one faulty part uh -huh. you can see doesn't look like any liquid damage here but that liquid could have destroyed it anyway so i will remove this glue and the next is just give it a little bit of clean okay that's enough more clearly we can see once it's give it a little bit more clean
Oh, it's okay. Things you need to open in the now it looks more. Uh oh, is it gone? What the hell? This is what the problem was. God damn. See, can you see, guys? This is was just maybe not connected. So I tried to clean it, and it's gone. So maybe now you can see my light is little bit yellowish now. The reason behind is first of all on my microscope I put WF instead of the before I was using WF10 into 20 but I had to go a little bit more closer so I'm using 20 WF20 into 10 and the next thing what I have done is uh, I'm using now laser light that laser light is um, sort of yellowish so what this laser light is it, it will give you more clear and precise viewing as you can see now see so we are lucky enough we have got a little bit of that uh, broken pad line shining here so we can still use it instead of digging where it's going to and then trying to do a jump wire or something and sometimes if it's going directly into under an IC that will make life more difficult but we can still use it now the next thing I would like to see if this is the same line what we are looking for so we should have sorry I will just here and here now we'll check the connectivity from here to this capacitor to make sure if this is the same line let's check now if we are lucky enough because otherwise it will be a difficult repair thank you, sir. Thank you mate okay, so this is what the trace is here here and come on so tiny yep so that makes our repair a little bit easier even though the pad is little bit broken I think that most probably is what the problem was maybe it was because of um, the short it just burnt out because it's so tiny so after we put a new IC I'm quite sure it should work okay so let's give it a clean and then we will install a new IC so this is what we get to after doing um, a little bit of cleaning the next thing I would like to check before I install the um, rear camera IC is uh, to check diode me um, reading on um, these um, IC connections to make sure uh, if the problem lies beyond um, this IC or not so the pad uh, which is uh, is open line which is uh, 2.9 volt line so let's check in the diode mode I will make it little bit because I have to get to the ground as well so this is OL which is right the next one is diode reading is 340 okay let's check here as you can see that is 340 that's all good and uh, can you see clearly now and the one is 470 diode reading 470 let's check this one here yeah that's close so that's all good so hopefully it should solve the problem so I will get the new IC and then solder it back all right okay 
Oh, you haven't seen. Okay, let's put you here. Okay, so I put the new IC. And get the heat gun. Pretty small man. Okay, looks no. Uh -huh. Someday your hands shake so bad. Okay, now come on. Yep. Oh no. It should be okay here. Yep. Okay, now time to let it go. Yep. Let's give it a <coughs> little bit more clean. Okay, it looks okay to me. So let's check now if the rear camera is working or not. Check it out. Turn off this light. Oh, can you see? I will put this is rear camera connectors. And before I put the battery connector, let's install the LCD. Oh, come on, man. Okay. Not gonna break anything. So, in the meantime, I will put these back. So, the laser light I sometimes use where the laser light penetrates through um, the flux and you can see more clearly I don't use it all the time you can so um, okay. let's check first of all Come on, work. Yep. Can you see? The rear camera is working. That's me. And the front camera is working as well. So guys, that was iPhone 7 camera IC replacement, which was liquid damage. All done successfully. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.